<sighs> I hope that's okay. I hope that looks okay. This is a nerve wracking one. It is. I hope that I didn't forget anybody or leave anybody out or anything like that. So the last Dark Kid video I did was I'm pretty sure the one where I rank all the shows and I got a request from somebody to do a video ranking my 15 favorite Star Kids. Um, and I read that comment and I was like, oh, yeah, I could do that. That sounds pretty easy. Well, let me tell you something. It is not easy. Narrowing down to 15 Star Kids to talk about, um, I couldn't do it. So before we actually get into the list, I have two special mentions. Now, like everything else on this channel, this is a subjective list. And I have decided to try not to factor in how the star kids are in real life, which is essentially means that I'm gonna try to primarily base this off of their performances in the shows and their writing of the shows and of the songs. So anything else that these people do in life or on their own or any other um, performance art jobs that they have that are not Star Kid, I will try my best not to factor that in. And the main reason why I'm doing that and saying this disclaimer is because I don't want to send out the impression that I'm like ranking real people over each other because that's that's not what I'm trying to do. The point of this video is just appreciating all of the talent and collective um, performances by one single person. So many of these people are so talented in a lot of ways and have portrayed characters or written for so many different shows. And I just want to take some time to appreciate that talent and contributions to Team Star Kid over the years. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to give you some more honorable mentions once I get to the end of the list, but for now I have two Star Kids that I want to just talk a little bit about because they didn't quite make it into the actual list and that felt wrong to me. The first special mention is Rachel Soglin. I was so sad that she didn't um, crack the top 15. She has only been in three shows, but she, I think, really made the most of those three shows. Emberly, Jasmine, and the mother, they were all such well-portrayed characters by her, and they're all such moods, if you think about it. <laughs> And Rachel is, of course, incredibly talented at um, singing, acting, and portraying all three of those characters. And they're all very different, but they all have, I feel like, a common link to them as well. So, well done, Rachel. Well done. The other special mention is Jim Povolo. Jim Povolo is hands down the most majestic star kid in all of history. He makes me laugh every single time he's on stage or on screen in Little White Lie. And he just oozes iconic. iconic. He's responsible for some of Star Kid's most iconically delivered lines, like, This is all your fault, Jafar. And of course, Oh, Goyle rules. Oh, Jim rules. So now actually getting into the top 15 Star Kids, number 15 is Robert Mannion. Oh, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably the most nerve-wracking part of the video for me. Because I feel like people are gonna hate me for putting Robert this low in the list. But you guys, do you have any idea how difficult it was to get this down to just 15? This man was only in three shows. But did he make the most out of his time in those three shows? Absolutely. He is beyond immensely talented and has some of the best stage presence of anybody that I've ever seen. But again, this is a subjective list, which means that it has some of my own bias. And my own bias when it comes to Star Kid shows 
has a lot to do with my own nostalgia and love for the older shows. Number 14 is Joe Moses. Now, this is when it becomes obvious that I do have a lot of love for the older shows. <laughs> like, Joe Moses' portrayal of Creander is great and all, but his portrayal of Snape is... is just too good. It's too iconic. And it's too absurd not to give it some great praise. Now, I know that I said I was gonna try not to talk about any of these people's accomplishments outside of Starkid, but I just want to quick say that I'm so proud of Joe Moses for his accomplishments in the world of law, for getting his law degree from the U of M. I am just so proud of him and it's very, very commendable. Number 13 is Denise Donovan. Denise! She is an amazing comedic actress, one of their best. Her comedic timing is just on point every scene that she's in. She just steals the show so much of the time. I know that some of her characters are not the brightest, but she's also at the same time played some of Starkid's most real and relatable characters like Mara and Kiri, which I love. Number 12 is man, the myth, the legend, Cory Doris. <sighs> This man is leaking, leaking with talent. And I will stand by that statement for the rest of my life, probably. His singing chops, his acting chops, especially in these more recent shows um, in Black Friday, the guy who didn't like musicals, and even in Trail to Oregon, and in a Harry Potter sequel. I just love every number and scene in which he's the focal point because he always makes the most of it and he always does such an amazing job with it. Always. I just love when the spotlight's on Corey and it's a shame that it doesn't happen more often because I wish it did. I may have a crush on him, I don't know. <laughs> Number 11 is my little squirrel, Brian Rosenthal. Brian Rosenthal has grown a lot since A Very Potter Musical and I am so proud of him for that. But I think my favorite performance from him is still a very Potter musical, just because he's so soft. <laughs> it's so funny to me how he is so adorable, but he plays one of the main villains, but he still is somehow the most likable character worthy of the audience's sympathy in a Harry Potter musical. <laughs> I just think that that's so funny and impressive, honestly. I also love his portrayal of Seamus in a Harry Potter sequel too, though. That whole monologue of um, the Shrieking Shack. I laugh every time I watch it. <sighs> I love Brosenthal. And also, side note, he needs to play Davy in Newsies because he would be so perfect. I have With My Own Eyes from Andy stuck in my head. And I feel like that's like such an obscure Star Kid song. Nobody ever talks about that song. <laughs> Number 10, you could say, is another soft boy, I guess. And that is Nick Lang. Nick Lang is so good at it all. He's good at the acting, the stage presence, the writing, the directing. He's just a legend. <laughs> it mind boggles me how much Nick Lang has truly made me laugh whether it be his writing or his characters on stage. Like for example, his writing for the um, AVP series is obviously hilarious, but also his characters like Sordi and Scarfy and Mr. Weasley and of course Robin and Obi-Wan, like those are some of the funniest characters, those two in particular. And of course you can't forget his scene as Umbridge's mom, which still remains just mwah, iconic. <laughs> Number nine is our soft girl, I guess, Meredith Stepien. I feel like Meredith has such a specific style of comedic acting, which I really appreciate. Like the thing with Meredith is that she's played so many different characters throughout the years 
you know, Mega Girl, um, Jamila, Sherazad, Hermione, and that really shows her versatility. But at the same time, all of those characters have this quality about them or demeanor about them where her as an actress, you can look at her portfolio of characters straight away and be like, that's Meredith. And I find that really refreshing. And it's something that I can't really explain, but something that I've really noticed and appreciated in every role that she has portrayed. Number eight is the limitlessly talented Darren Chris. Now I've talked about this a good few times, but I actually did first see and fall in love with Darren Chris through a Harry Potter musical because I hadn't seen Glee or anything else that he was in yet when I first watched a Harry Potter musical. So I had never seen or heard of Darren Chris before watching that show. And for that, I am very, very thankful. Now I know that Darren Chris has the most well-known body of work outside of Star Kid um, of any of these people. So I'm gonna really try not to um, incorporate a lot of that <laughs> because again, this is a Star Kid video. But Darren Chris, again, his talent blows me away so much. He's such a talented vocalist, such a talented actor, both comedic and dramatic. He like nails them both. He's such a talented songwriter, creative mind. He can play like 10 different instruments at the same time. <laughs> he truly is just a force of talent on this earth. And I could not be prouder of him for the recognition that he's getting. And I know that I'm, I'm veering away from Star Kid a little bit by saying that, but um, I'm still gonna note it, uh, just how, how proud I am of him. But he will always be Harry freaking Potter to me. Number seven is Jamie Lynn Beatty. <laughs> Jamie Lynn Beatty is such a wonderful, versatile actress. Like she can play any kind of role. She can play um, a dramatic one, comedic one, character role, lead role. Which brings me to, she's played little character roles in the last, I feel like, several Star Kid shows. And I want to see her as a lead again, because it's it's been a while. So I want to see that again. <laughs> she deserves it. And that brings me to one of the most obvious statements of this video, and that is that Jamie is far and away one of Star Kid's most talented vocalists. Um, her range just slays the heck out of me. <laughs> every time I hear her sing, every time I see her act, every time she's pretty much on stage, I'm just like, all hail, all hail Queen Jamie. She's queen. <laughs> Number six is Star Kid's other most talented vocalist, Dylan Saunders. <sighs> You know what I really want? I really want there to be a Star Kid show where Dylan and Jamie play love interests and they sing an epic duet. Oh, could you imagine the power? I could just listen to Dylan's singing voice all day, honestly. He is such a gifted, gifted vocalist and Watching him sing from the heart, I, I said this in my Black Friday video, I believe, but there's really nothing like it because with those vocals comes insane, insane acting chops as well. Dylan has played some of Star Kid's most challenging roles, far and away. Tom, um, especially Jafar. His performance as Jafar, I think, has yet to not make me cry. In other words, his performance as Jafar always makes me cry every single time I watch Twisted. And I've seen Twisted a lot. Every time Dylan portrays a character, whether it be Dumbledore, Jafar, Tom, Tootsie Noodles, he just becomes another person. And that is incredible. Now, I know some of you might be thinking right now, like, well, of course he plays different people. Like, that's what an actor does. But what I mean by that is any character that Dylan plays, no matter how different um, they may be, he just becomes 
them and he embodies them, mind, body, and soul. And not every actor can do that and he can. So Dylan is perfect, definitely one of the most talented star kids. Number five is Brian Holden. Now I'm gonna level with you guys. I had a huge crush on Brian Holden when or since I saw a Harry Potter sequel. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, again, an incredibly talented actor. He has played just some of my favorite chaotic characters and just my favorite characters of Starkid, particularly um, Remus Lupin and Superman. Those two will, I think, forever be two of my very, very favorites. Of course, he's also an incredibly talented writer, as he helped write the first several shows for Team Star Kid, most notably a Harry Potter musical sequel in senior year. Just to be Brian, Nick, or Matt, and to have such a creative mind to envision a show as fantastic as a Harry Potter musical is mind-boggling in itself. So thank you to Brian, Nick, and Matt for being so responsible for the glory of Team Star Kid in the first place. But Brian Holden is... I love him. I love him and his talent. Number four is the king of chaotic comedy, Jeff Blim. Now, I know if you've seen any of my other Star Kid related videos, you will know how much I love, admire, and respect Jeff Blim. I know I've said this repeatedly, but he just gets it. Like, he gets the comedic timing and how to maximize certain scenarios or bits to make them the funniest that they can possibly be. He's so good at that and he's so good at the kind of character he plays. Like that chaotic, insane character. Aladdin, the father, Sweet Newt Tooth, Mr. Davidson, General John McNamara. Every single one of those characters just stole the show and every scene that they were in. And besides being far and away one of their most gifted comedic actors with the most prominent stage presence, he also has an incredible singing voice and is an incredibly talented songwriter. Like, the Black Friday songs especially just blow me away. Not to say that um, Trail to Oregon and the guy who didn't like musicals don't, but I think Black Friday in particular is just a whole other level of talent. I cannot say enough positive things about Jeff Blim. He is, in my opinion, definitely one of the most talented and um, versatilely talented star kids. Is that a word? These top three are all so iconic. It felt wrong to um, try to rank them. It felt wrong to try to try to rank anybody, honestly. Again, when I rank these people, I don't say that I like, I'm not I'm trying to say that I like this person better than this person. I just, um, I'm trying to appreciate the versatility of talent that um, contributes to Team Star Kid and how it comes from so many different people. That said, number three is Joe Walker. Now again, every character that Joe Walker plays just oozes iconic. Voldemort, Umbridge, Batman, Commander Up. It blows my mind. It really does. Joe Walker, again, is one of the most talented comedians in Star Kid. He makes me laugh to no end. No matter what character he plays or no matter what he's doing on stage, I just... I love him. Joe Walker's characters have also taught us some very valuable lessons. You know, like, life is its really messy and complicated and you think killing people will make them like you, but it doesn't. It just makes people dead. You know, that was bad, but you know what I mean. 
He also has the same charm and quality about each of his characters that I said about Meredith. I think that they definitely have that in common where they play very different people and that shows how versatile they are but at the same time you look at a character they play and you're like oh yeah that's Joe Walker because all of his characters as well have I would say that um thread connecting them and I don't know it's something that I can't really explain that well but it's very very endearing. Number two is the Prince of Star Kid, Joey Richter. I always find myself feeling overwhelmingly proud of Joey because of the growth that he had. Like if you look at him in A Very Potter Musical or MAMD and you compare that, which is already amazing, to his performance in A Very Potter Senior Year on, it's honestly incredible how much he grew as a performer in such a short amount of time because he was already one of the best in a lot of ways in the earlier shows but he even more so is now because of his growth as a vocalist as an actor particularly as a dramatic actor I think that he does an incredible job in a very Potter senior year. Like if you compare that Ron to um, a very Potter musicals Ron, I just, I feel like a proud mom almost just seeing how much he grew from 2009 to 2012. But besides becoming such an incredible dramatic actor and such an incredible vocalist, he also has played some of Star Kid's funniest characters like Ted and Henry McDoon and of course Ron. It's always gonna be iconic. But yes, I love Joey. He's so talented. He's so handsome. And he makes me McSwoon. Now before I get to my number one star kid, I want to present some more honorable mentions and star kids that I also think just deserve so much appreciation for how much they've contributed. I'm sorry if I miss one that you love, um, but these ones in particular I really believe stood out over the years. AJ Holmes, John Madison, Matt Lang, Julia Albane, Devin Lytle, Tyler Brunsman, and James Tolbert. And finally, number one is the queen herself, Lauren Lopez. Again, she just leaks talent. Now, Lauren Lopez will always hold this special place in my heart because she was the very first star kid. The very first one that I looked at and went, wow, she's amazing. And I've thought that ever since she first came out as Draco in a Harry Potter musical. And no matter where star kid goes, I'll always have that. I will always have that um, visioning of her. And again, since then, it's incredible how much she's grown as a performer um, and how much her versatility has shown through over the years. She has played some of Star Kid's most, most iconic characters. Um, I particularly love Tanya, Linda Monroe, Emma, the son, and of course my favorite, favorite, favorite Star Kid character of all time. That is a big statement, Draco Malfoy. Her portrayal as Draco Malfoy is... It's just beyond reproach. It really is. Like seriously, for a good few years after seeing the Harry Potter musical series, Every time I would try to reread the Harry Potter series, I would always envision her, Draco, as the one in the books <laughs> for years. <laughs> That's how much an impression it left on me and on countless others. Simply put, I love that portrayal of that character and I love her. So those are my 15 favorite star kids. Um, I know, again, I can't say this enough on this channel, but 
this is a subjective list. So I, of course, invite you to put your favorite star kids down below. You could put 15, you could put three, you could put 20. I, uh, just tell me what star kids you love and what you love about them. Or you could say, I love them all and I don't feel like ranking them. That's, that's great too. You could also say your favorite star kid character of all time, your favorite star kid song of all time. Just talk to me about star kid. Because I love hearing you guys' opinions, particularly on Starkid, because I know that everybody has a different experience in the Starkid fandom. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this, I invite you to like this video and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching again and I hope you have a la-di-da-da -da day.